our daily schedule in the Spiritual Skyliner bus program is that we get up in the morning like at five o'clock, um, take shower, we have a warm shower inside, also sh shower outside and um, after this we chant our rounds and for at seven o'clock approximately we um, gather in front of the deities and have morning program Mangal Artik and we are reading together from Srimad Bhagavatam and two devotees are preparing breakfast in the kitchen so that we can take prasadam afterwards and then in the morning um, everybody goes out on Sanketan we are distributing Srila Prabhupada's books and um, also invitation cards for the evening program then like at two o'clock in the afternoon we meet again to take prasadam and prepare for the Harinam which will normally start at three o'clock we go to the center of the city and there we have Harinam um, little Harinam festival where we're distributing books and prasadam and also invitation cards where the exactly um, exact address of the bus is written on so that the people can visit us for the seven o'clock evening program and then like at eight six o'clock we um, go back to the bus and prepare the bus for the evening program where we will make an Arctic for Shishigoni Thai and a lecture for those guests who are coming to the bus and also a little um, feast and then we try to sell them Srila Prabhupada's books and afterwards we leave the city when the guests are gone and go to the next city.
Kashipu, Lord Brahma, the original being of this universe, who is extremely powerful, sprinkled transcendental, infallible spiritual water from his commander loop upon Hiranya Kashipu's body, which had been eaten away by ants and moths. Thus he enlightened Hiranya Kashipu. Tene Brahma Didayat Adikavaye. The Adideva or Adikavi, the first living creature, was. This is the meaning of the word. Amoga Radhasa. He desired to restore Hiranya Kashipu's original body, and therefore, by sprinkling transcendental water from his water pot, he immediately did so. <coughs> as soon <coughs> as he was sprinkled with the water from Lord Brahma's water pot, Hiranya Kashipu arose 
And though it was a full body with limbs so strong that they could bear the striking of the thunderbolt, with physical strength and the bodily luster resembling molten gold, he emerged from the anthill a completely young man, just as fire springs from fuel wood. <coughs> Seeing Lord Brahma was sent before him to the sky, carried by his swan, airplane, Hirakashipu was extremely pleased. He immediately fell flat with his head on the ground and began to express his obligation to the Lord. Lord Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita 9.23.24, Yepyanya Devata Bhakta Yajante Shradayam Gita Whatever a man may Sacrifice to other gods, O son of Kunti, is really meant for me alone, but it is offered without true understanding. I am the only enjoyer and the only object of the sacrifice. Those who do not recognize my those who do, who do not recognize my true transcendental nature fall down. In effect, Krishna says person in, persons engaged in the worship of demigods are not very intelligent, although such worship is indirectly offered to me. Knowledge thereof, and the person who agrees to perform them are inspired by the Supreme Soul. This confirmed in Bhagavad Gita, Mata, Smiti, Yanam, Apokhanam, Cha. From the Lord come remembrance, knowledge, and forgetfulness. The Super Soul is situated in everyone's heart. O oh my Lord, your Lordship is eternally awake, seeing everything that happens. As eternal time, you will reduce the duration of life for all living entities through your different parts, such as moments, seconds, minutes, and hours. Nonetheless, you are unchanged, resting in one place as the same soul, witness and supreme Lord, the birthless, all-pervading controller, who is the cause of life for all living entities. The word. In this verse, the word Kuta Star is very important. Although the Supreme Personality of God is situated everywhere, He is the central, unchanging point. <coughs> the Lord is situated in full in the core of everyone's heart, as indicated in the Upanishad by the word Ikatvam. Although there are millions and millions of living entities, the Lord is situated as the super soul in everyone. <laughs> So the bus program was started originally in 1984 by Bhaktivedanta Maharaj. In the beginning it was a quite simple program. We just mainly went from temple to temple and uh, made Harinam in the cities and 
We also tried to invite people, but uh, we didn't really pass out many invitation cards, and also not so many people came. So, but over the years, it was more and more developed. And um, I was almost all the time in this bus program, except for some periods in between. And uh, now we, we really, you know, get a lot of people on the bus. We now have developed some system and we have like every night we have like a 10 to 30 guests just from one Harinam and yeah, it's a quite nice program by now. Hare Krishna. Um, very rarely somebody immediately says I want to travel with you like we had it um, until now in the last years two times somebody immediately said I want to come with you somebody who saw us on Harinam and then we took him with us, the, um, us and they are still devotees since um, three years or even four years um, but mostly um, we we making the first contacts with the people give them Srila Prabhupada's books or they can participate first time in a program of Krishna consciousness and mostly um, from this program many friends of the movement friends of Lord Krishna um, come out like in some cities we have a circle of friends who are chanting Hare Krishna even 16 rounds and following the principles in some cities even 20 30 people just from the bus program
my name is Nilam Baradas. I'm 15 years old and I'm initiated by Hare Krishna Swami Sri Vishnubad. I was initiated one year ago. Um, I'm in Krishna consciousness now since 10 years and actually like it very much. First, when I joined it with my parents, I visited a normal karma school. After doing this for four years, I went to my Gurukul and I stayed there for two years. After that, I came back to Germany and I was here for one year, actually doing nothing. And then I joined the bus program and it seemed like it was the right thing for me because there you can do different things like book distribution and and prasadam distribution and cooking and preaching to the people and Harinam. And I stayed there for three months last year. And then over the winter I was on the farm in France and I decided to come back to the bus program in the summer because it's very nice. The evening program starts usually at 7 o'clock and it's from town to town very different how many people are coming. Sometimes 10 people coming, sometimes even 40 people coming just from um, three hours Harinam. It's also in one city it can differ quite a lot. Um, and also we are inviting people who before had come to our programs and who gave the address. Normally it, everybody gives the address after such a program and we invite them for the next time to visit us again so we can um, cultivate the people also do, um, by our program. So usually we have little more guests, little more new guests than guests who have visited us before. So it's a mixture of new guests and also guests who know the um, Krishna consciousness movement already.
Eine Meditationskette, die aus 100, mit, mit 108 Perlen bestückt ist. Und wir benutzen diese einzelnen Perlen, um mit der rechten Hand, mit diesen beiden Fingern, den, die Mantras zu zählen, die wir chanten. Und dann gehen wir zur nächsten Perle. Und so kann man ja schon die frühe Morgenstunde nutzen, um to our this daily schedule where we every day have um, like the same program and a um, program with guests in the evening we also have some special preaching programs like we very much like to go to big open air festivals especially reggae festivals are very nice uh, because the people who come to these festivals are naturally inclined to be in Yeah, interested in spiritual um, topics and also rock festivals and um, sometimes we even play with some bands on this um, on this festivals like one band in Hannover the vision they came in contact with Krishna consciousness um, through the bus program and they immediately invited us to play on a very big open air like in front of 10,000 people together with them and These are very important programs for us. We mainly concentrate on these festivals, on prasadam distribution, like sometimes 3,000 foot, yeah, 2,000, 3,000 plates a day, and also um, Harinam, mainly on these programs. And now we are also developing a preaching program at universities, where we go to universities, just make book tables there, and also um, programs directly 
in the rooms of the university for the students or in centers where um, cultural centers where the students are coming.